welcome back to my channel so today I felt like what did I feel like I feel like I feel like I want to get back to a brand that like I know and I love and they've never let me down so the last time I ordered um, last time when I ordered the retro love palette I got the very final large 42 color palette from Beauty Bay that I did not have. I did not have the fiery palette. So I was like, you know what? I'm ordering this retro love palette. Why not? Let me go ahead and complete my collection. I think now I have pretty much every large 42 color palette that they have. And I absolutely have loved every single one of them so far. So <clears throat> lately I've been trying a lot of new brands, well new brands to me, and I was like, you know what, I'm really feeling like I have this one last Beauty Bay palette, I really want to use it. It's really gloomy and like overcast today, and it's been kind of raining off and on, and I don't know, if, if you guys don't know, I absolutely love fall. Like fall is my jam. I love springtime, which we don't get a whole lot of spring anymore, I feel like it just goes <laughs> from like you know, this winter into like, oh, we warm up, we have spring for like two seconds and then it's like, Pow! like you're on fire. <laughs> so, I feel like spring is missing and I feel like a lot of fall ends up being missed lately, but I absolutely love fall. I love the colors. Um, you know, just a little tidbit about me. I got married in uh, November, not this November, but like that's when my anniversary is. <laughs> it's in November and I actually did Thanksgiving dinner as our wedding meal and it was delightful like everybody was like oh my gosh it's like the best meal we've ever had like I mean the whole nine, nine like turkey mashed potatoes like stuffing like all of it because I absolutely love the fall <laughs> I love the colors I love the oranges you know the deep yellows this that and the other so anyway I'm rambling at this point but it's gloomy out and I put in a wax melt that smells like baked goods and I'm like I'm really getting like the fall vibe so I was like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go ahead and use the fiery palette but I think today I'm gonna play with like the oranges and then I might go down here into like some of the browns this is similar to the retro love or not the retro love but what the other one that I did hold on so this is similar to the tropical palette that I did recently so I bought the tropical palette the retro love and then this fiery palette all at the same time but there's a lot of yellows and like you get a little bit of like orangey and then you get some peachy pinkies whatever's so I think with this one I do enjoy these pops of yellow right here I really do maybe I'll use that for like an inner corner I'm not really sure maybe I'll do like yellow with brown and kind of like a sunflower look and then on the other I'll do like a pumpkin spice look there we go so anyway that's what I'm using today so if you want to see what I end up doing then just keep watching normally I use my LYS setting powder the translucent triple fix whatever setting powder and I started to put that on and then I recall I found this Danessa Myricks Beauty it's called the evolution powder I believe so it's just a loose powder and I tried it I don't necessarily know if I like it I don't know I absolutely love the LYS powder I don't ever get any creasing with the LYS powder but I feel like this Danessa Myricks powder is like settling into like every little crevice it possibly can so I don't know I did use the Salt New York Cream products today so that's what I have on my face it's very subtle I feel like I put on the blush and it's so potent and then I blend it out and then I feel like it kind of settles into the skin and then it's just this like light wash of color so I don't know if I need to go like I already feel like I'm going in heavy-handed but maybe it's not enough maybe I need to do a little bit more to have a little more color payoff because I feel like in the mirror down here it's not it I don't know I don't know I don't feel like it's vibrant enough so anyway let's do this thing oh I kind of like that idea I think I'm going to do like yellows and browns on one eye and then do like a chocolatey 
or not a chocolatey. I'm going to do like yellows and browns, like sunflower on one eye. And then maybe the other eye do like a pumpkin-y color. My daughter started camp today. So this ought to be interesting when I show up with two different colored eyes. So this ought to be interesting. I think what I want to do is I want to go in. Oh, look at that. This is perfect. It's absolutely. So this color is called pumpkin and this one is called autumn. And it's like a light brown. So I'm going to go in with that. I lie. I think for a transition shade, I'm going to go in with this color up here. It's called Fairy. I'm going to pick that up on this Morphe E30 brush. Pop that in. Oh, I love Beauty Bay's palettes. I'm just going to blend this all over. Now underneath, I honestly wish today was a day that I could literally curl up on the couch and watch a movie. Like, and it could be a Halloween movie, it could be a Christmas movie, like. So let's see, I think what I want to do is now I'm going to go in with this autumn color right here. It's like a very, like on camera, like when I do that. It does look super like pumpkin-y, this one right here, and deep orange, but when I'm looking at it, it's more of like a brownish orangish color, like it's very subtle. So I'm going to take that color, and I'm going to pick that up on this Morphe M507 brush, and I'm going to start working that into the crease here. That is definitely... Um, it's gonna be a little bit darker there. So I'm gonna bring that down. I'm not mad about it. I just, I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker. So I might add in an extra step here. Let me blend this out. Soften that edge a little bit. And then I think what I want to do, I'm gonna go in with this color just above that one. off. I'm using the same brush. I want to deepen that just a bit more. There we go. Just to give me the basis of this eye look. Bring it up a little bit. I'm going to soften with that prior brush and then I think I'm going to bring that same color underneath. Right out the gate, I already know I want that color out here and I want to connect that corner. Like that. Soften it a bit if you need to. So I think what I want to do, I want to go in with this pumpkin color. And I'm going to pick that up on this Morphe brush, it's just a flat brush. I want to pick that up and I think I'm going to put that on my lid. I am getting fallout. This is the most fallout I think I've ever had with a Beauty Bay palette, but I did go into this color quite heavily, so it's my fault. That is very bright orange pumpkin y. Yes, it is. So I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to wipe some of that brush off. And now I'm going to go in. I really want to go over here into. Ooh, so it's a toss up between this shimmery color called Ginger and then this one called Peel. Peel is next to this pumpkin, but I feel like I want this look just a little bit deeper so I think I'm gonna go into this ginger color and I'm gonna pick that up on that same brush and I actually I'm gonna go over this orange or so I thought so let me pick that up on my finger
like that. That is very bright. So these, these colors aren't as deep. I did go ahead and switch the brush because I felt like I wasn't getting enough color payoff with that Morphe brush. Um, so I think I want to deepen this. I mean, they're definitely like orangey, like fall, but I feel like I want to, I'm just softening the edge. It is definitely a very like straight pumpkin, not like cooked pumpkin or anything like that. Like you're like, hey, this is a fresh pumpkin right out the patch. So I think I want to deepen this up a bit though. So let me see what can go over top of this. Do I want to put some of these gold like bronzies? I do want to deepen up this crease here. So I think I'm going to go in with cork on this Morphe M507 brush. That brown, that brown blended nicely over that like orangey color. But now I think I want to go in with, ooh, let me swatch this. Let me swatch this tiger color because there's like a shift to it. So that's that tiger color. I don't think that's really what I'm going for there. Let me see. I'm gonna swatch this color up here. Cause I feel like the, the, the look I was envisioning is getting a little away from me. So that's that bottom color down here. So that's that one. Let me see what peel looks like. Cause I ended up picking the other color over that one. I went with that ginger instead. So let's see, oh wow, okay. That's just a very bright orangey shimmer. I wonder what the two of these together would look like. Hmm, but do I wanna do that? That pumpkin color is quite bright. Yes, it is. I probably should have gone in more with like this spice color cause it looks a little deeper. But you know, choices were made <laughs> and we're just gonna have to figure it out, right? So I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna go in with a combination I'm going to pick up champagne. Let's see if we can clear this up a little bit. Mm. I'm going to put that out here. I'm not really sure that this, let me pick it up with my finger. That's what it looks like. You want to add in a bit more like that goldy like color into this eye look. So I think I'm going to do that to tone down that pumpkin color because it was a lot brighter than what I was thinking. And then I think what I want to do is take this Beauty Bay 2209 brush and I'm going to pick up that peel color and let's see what we could do with it more so down here and around to get a combination of those two and then I'm just going to take this clean brush And soften that edge in here where that pumpkin color was like peeking out and bring it around. I don't want to totally, I don't want to totally get rid of that pumpkin color. It's just I wanted to tone it down a bit. And I feel like I brought more warmth back into it, if you will, by using some of this gold. So I actually like that. Like that's more along the lines of what I'm looking for is like that deep orangey, goldish, warm, like fall colors. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take some more of that champagne color I used and I'm going to pick it up on the Sigma Pencil E30 brush and I'm going to go back in with this deeper color and I want to bring that color into that lower lash line. And if you'll notice, I haven't got any colors wet. So 
So I'm slightly mimicking what's up top. Bringing that in. I'm gonna take that brush I just used. And buff that out. We'll soften the edge a bit. And I think I want to take that Morphe M507 brush and I'm going to go back in to a mixture of that autumn, the first two colors that I used, the very first two colors. And I think I want to bring a little bit of that back and come up a bit higher. Make it a little more blown out and then I'm gonna go back into that deeper brown called cork. And then I'm gonna deepen just that crease right there to add a little depth. Cause I let it get away from me a little bit. So I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to hop over to the other eye. So for this eye, I think I'm going to go in with this color bagel over here. It's a really light brown. I'm just going to put that all over as my transition shade. I'm going to go in for this gradient effect of these browns. So I'm starting with that one. Then I think I want to go ahead and go into this brunette color out here. And I'm going to pick that up on this Morphe Taper brush. I'm going to bring that out here. They're blending out so nice. This is one thing I like about Beauty Bay. They're like super consistent with their formula. You know, and I don't know how old this palette is. Like I have no idea when this palette came out. So just like that. And then I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush. And this is the Morphe M506 brush. And I am going to pick up I kind of want to pick up egg corn, but I feel like I need to go a little bit deeper. So I'm going to pick up this warm color down here. It's called warm. It looks like a nice warm brown. But because I don't know what the color payoff is going to be, I'm going to go in kind of light. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I want. And I'm just going to put that right here in the outer portion of the eye and the crease and I'm just making little small circles and kind of dragging that color into the crease like that nice and warm and deep bring it down just to diffuse that color a little bit like that edge of that like that I'm gonna go back in with that prior brush just soften the edge Where those two meet up like that. Ooh, this should be, ooh, let's not break things. Ooh, I kind of want to go in with like this deep turmeric color, like this one, but it looks more orangey on camera. And I want to kind of go in with yellow, more for like that sunflower. So here's that blonde color. And then the one next to it's called sun. And I'm pretty sure there's another color like that in another palette. Yeah, in the tropical palette, that color is called sun. Oh, and there's blonde, so that's what I said. These have a lot of the same colors. I don't think Lilo is in here, it's not. But those two, those two colors, and these are probably colors down here, like I had said, that watermelon color. I think that's from the berries palette. I'm gonna pick up that blonde color with this Morphe M124 brush and see what it's like. I think I'm gonna go more on the inner corner here though. It has definitely like a sunflowery yellow. Like 
And then what do I want to do in between those two colors? Let's see what this honey color looks like. That's what that honey color looks like. It's more, that was such an odd spot to put it on my hand. It's like deep and orangey. I think what I want to do is go in with this color crystal up here. And I'm going to pick that up on this Beauty Bay 2207 brush. Just another flat brush. Let's see. Let's see how this shimmer does in between these two. As you guys know, I love my dang shimmers. I want a little bit here, just something very subtle. I don't want it to take away from like the yellow and the brown. I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit, but it's something there for like a transition between those two shades. I'm actually gonna top it over top of a little bit of that yellow oh it's so pretty let me pick a you know what here's what it looks like on my finger I'm gonna apply some just for purposes of seeing like yeah it's gonna put a lot a lot more color down if you pick it up with your finger but I don't think I want it like that today I want it more just for like a very subtle topper not like this intense shimmer does that make sense so I'm just gonna keep taking my brush and lightly putting that down in between those two for just a very subtle shimmer. I'm gonna bring it in just a smidge more into this yellow, almost from like the center of the eye out to the outer corner, but just to cover over a little bit. And surprisingly enough, it is covering over that yellow nicely, but I am going to go back in with that blonde color to get a nice blend. Get some of that up. So you're going to see some of that shimmer. I hope you can see this. So the shimmer starts in here. So you see the yellow, then the shimmer, and then it goes into more of the shimmer and then out into the brown. So it's got a nice gradient effect where those two meet up. That is pretty. It's definitely something different. It's more matte than like I typically do because I usually go for like a whole lot of like using a lot of the shimmers and um, things like that. So I think I want to go into this color wood and I'm going to pick that up on this Alomar brush. It's just a flat definer brush. I'm going to pick that color up. I'm going to stamp that along this lower lash line about two-thirds of the way in and I'm actually going to bring it out and then bring it up into the upper lash line like almost like a um, eyeliner but I just want to deepen up the lash line. like that make it nice and deep and then I'm going to go in with wow well, I've used quite a few brushes today <laughs> used quite a few so I'm gonna go in with this blend bunny b5 brush and I'm going to go into this brunette color that I had used and I have so many brushes in front of me that I don't remember which one I used with this color and I am gonna tap that off and I'm gonna use this color to soften the edge of that dark brown, but also bring it underneath like that. And then I am gonna go back in with, where's my brush? I'm gonna go back in with that yellow color and deepen the inner corner and then bring so I don't know where my camera shut off, but I was just saying I applied that crystal color down here as a topper. Um, 
Yeah, so I went ahead and did that. I softened the edge around this eye, but I'm gonna leave them like that. I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna do some mascara, probably some eyeliner, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. This would be one eye, and this would be the other. Go ahead and close my eyes. So that's what they look like. Um, I went ahead and I actually did like a combination of the products from the Rick and Morty. So I went in with like the deeper plum lip liner, not a full like lining. I just did a little bit there and it transferred enough just to give me like a deep undertone on my lips, but not like a full like plum lip. And then I went in with the gloss from the other lip kit because it's got a little bit of like orangey hue to it to get the color that I have on there now which to me just gives me fall vibes it's just like that deeper color so I did that and then I actually went in with the LA Girl Shockwave metallic eyeliner in the orange one and I was like ah, I don't really want metallic so then I went over it with the ColourPop liner so it's a nice nude color and what is it called what is it honey dude honey dude so that's what it looks like so I went over top of the metallic just I guess in a sense to mattify it because I just realized after I did it, I was like eh, I'm not really feeling a shimmer I don't know what is going on so then I went ahead and went in with my NYX epic wear liquid liner and it is in brown so I just did my wing with that and then I actually topped it off with a little bit of the KVD Mad Max Brown just in a little area where I was had a little smudge there so I fixed that because I tried to go in with this to begin with and I think it's really running out so it's kind of dry so that's why I went in with the liquid and then I fixed my little spot so you know some choices some things are not necessarily working with me today but I fixed it it's not a big deal um, and then I went ahead and went in with this Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes mascara. I didn't put on any lashes. I started to use this and I don't know if this is dried out because then my like eyelashes are like super crusty and I was like, oh wait a minute, what happened? Like what is on my eyelash? Like why are they super crusty? So I don't know if it was a mixture of like leftover stuff on my eyelash curler or if it's because I started to go in with this and I was like, oh wait a minute, what's happening? And then I went in with this. So not really sure there. So let me go ahead and zoom out. We'll talk about it. Okay, so I think everything turned out really nice. It's not my typical look that I normally do. I know I'm usually heavy into like the shimmers and the glitters and the duochromes and, and the what have yous, but I was really feeling like something different today. And again, I can't stress that enough. That is the fun thing about makeup. It's just you know, doing the same application, doing the same thing over and over and over, yeah, it's it might be your tried and true, and that, you know, typically is my tried and true way to do my makeup, but today I felt like doing something different, and it just, it just sparks something inside of you that you're like, hey, I can do this, I can do something completely different, because there are no hard, fast rules for makeup. You know, some people you'll watch on here, they're like, oh, don't put a shimmer out towards the outer corner or what have you. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of people might not do something like that just in the center between two mats. I do not care. <laughs> That's, I really don't. It's what I wanted to do today. It's, it's what I felt like doing. So I just did it. If other people don't like it, they don't need to look at it. You know what I mean? And I just wish that more people could be more accepting of that that you can do whatever you want have fun with it that is the fun part about makeup and i think sometimes people get so serious about it and they're like oh you have to do this oh you have to do that no you don't mm -mm. no you don't do what you want if it makes you happy this makes me happy i'm all about it right now so that is what i'm gonna go with today i do not care what anybody else thinks especially when i go like pick up my kid if somebody's like oh my gosh what's on your face it's mine it's my face it's what I wanted to do today. I am happy you were not going to infringe upon that. You were not going to bust through my boundary of happiness to express your dislike for something that I enjoy. You know what I mean? I wish people would stop doing that. It's ridiculous. So you don't like it? That's fine. You don't need to express it. Just go on about your way. You know, that goes a long way. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. And I really wish people would really 100% just retain that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, as always, I, 
I love Beauty Bay. Like, I can't tell you guys that enough. Um, my only gripe, because I do have a gripe, I really wish these two colors, one or the other, had more of like a shimmery, glittery effect to them. They're more of like a... Well, they're more of like a very subtle, like, shimmer, if you will. They don't have a whole lot to them. And then the one color they did put in the middle, it really looks like it has, like, a pink shift to it. So it's not really what I was looking for. I love this color. This is absolutely beautiful. It's nice as a topper, and it will probably go on very concentrated if you use your finger. I'm going to get a lot more, like I said, when I touched my eye and I was like, oh yeah, you can really build that up with your finger, but that's not what I wanted. I just wanted a nice subtle topper in between those mattes and I absolutely got that. So I love that. I love it for that. There's just so many looks you can do with this palette. Again, some of the colors are repeat. So if you have the tropical palette and then you have the berry palette and then if you have the neutral palette, you probably have all these colors. Did I need this palette? No, no, I did not. Do I love this palette? Yes. Yes, I do, because I love Beauty Bay, and I feel like I'm just going to own every palette that they do from here on out, because I just, I love it. I don't know, it excites me. I love it. I like it. I like these palettes. I know some people are like, oh, this is too big. I love this because I love options. I absolutely do. I love having options. That's probably why I have way too many um, eyeshadow palettes. I have way too many things, because I really like options. I like to switch things up. I get very bored with the same thing over and over and over and over again and I like to come into whatever I'm doing and be like okay I want this option or this option or this option it's just me some people are not like that and if you're not like that that's fine you don't need to be you do you so with that um yeah I really like it again it's not my norm I did get a little out of control here with that pumpkin color it was a lot more vibrant more more like I don't want to say neon, but it, it really was bright. And then I was like, oh, that's not really what I was expecting. But I toned it down. I figured it out. And that, that is great. That is <laughs> so much fun. So, no, that was not a Tony the Tiger plug right there. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if anybody tries to tell you it is too early for fall, mm -mm. no, it's not. You do whatever you want to do when you want to do it. Christmas in July, too, right? Like, that's when a lot of Christmas songs were written look it up. <laughs> so I know of one Christmas song that was written in July. Um, I can't think of it. I can't even think of which one it is right off the top of my head. Oh, the Christmas song. It was according to Tormeng. The song was written in July of 1945 during a blistering hot summer. That was an effort to stay cool by thinking cool. Um, the Christmas song, the classic Christmas song, was written in 1944. It's usually subtitled Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. That song was written during a heat wave as a way to think cool thoughts. So, there you go. Love that song. I love Nat King Cole's version of that song. So, anyway, there's another little tidbit about me in case you were wondering. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this.